In this question, we're going to look at some probability definitions. Now, a survey of subscribers uh, to Fortune magazine showed that 54% rented the car in the past 12 months for business reasons. We're going to call that event, uh, for business reasons, we're going to call that B. And the probability of B is not 0.54, 54%. The second reason is 51% rented the car for personal reasons, and we'll call that event P, P for personal. And the probability of that is not 0.51. Now, finally, we are told that 72% 72, uh, 72 rented the car for either business or personal reasons. Okay, so the probability of P or B is not 0.72. Okay, so those are the three things we were pieces of information we were given. Probability B, probability of P, and probability of P or B. Uh, just as sort of a definition, uh, when you're writing this down in the exam paper, you might just write a quick description of what B, P, and B or P, B, uh, B or P means, just to be clear about what you're uh, doing. It makes the exam questions easier to follow your scripts easier to follow. What is the probability that a, a subscriber rented the car in the past 12 months for business reasons or and for personal reasons? Uh, just let's be clear, it's for both. You, there was for both reasons that the subscriber rented the car, not one or the other, strictly for both. So what we're asked for here is the probability of P and B. Okay. Now, how do we calculate this? We use a rule called the addition rule. Now, using P and B, how do we write this rule? I'll write it out here like this. Probability of P or B equals probability of P plus the probability, oops, let's something going on there with my pen plus the probability of B minus the probability of P and B. So, we know what this is, not 0.72, and we know what these two values here, this is not 0.51, and not 0.54. We don't know what this is yet, so we're just going to call that, we'll call that P, yeah, we'll just use the name I gave it already, P and B. Now, add these two values together, we get 1.05. So, not 0.72 equals 1.05 minus the probability we're interested in. So, it's a very simple calculation now. We could uh, just uh, sort of rearrange that formula. What's the difference between 1.05 and 0.72? The answer is, I'll write it down here, probability of P and B equals 0.33, 33%. So that's the first question. What is the probability that a subscriber did not rent a car in the past 12 months? Now, let's... Uh, Let's just be clear that there's only two reasons for renting the car, business reasons and personal reasons. Now, 72% rented the car. This is what we are told here in this part. So what is the complement of that? It is not 0.28. Now, how would we write that? Well, it's the complement of this, essentially. So the probability... I'll write the answer in here, just right beside where I have it written. Probability of P or C, uh, so probability of P or B, and the complement of that equals 0.28. And again, what's that? This is 1 minus 0.72. So that's that question done.